My name is Dale Chapman. I'm a Yalia Kuma woman from Durambandi. Um, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners on the land in which we're gathered today and pay my respects to Elders past, present and those emerging. Today we're going to talk about Davidson Plum or Ure in uh, language from far north Queensland. Double O-R-A-Y. This little plum grows in a couple of different ways. The New South Wales variety, which is this one, grows along the stem or the trunk of the tree. And it's a tall rainforest tree. So Davidson plum is a very tall tree. And this one we harvest around about October through to January. Um, and this year there were a very small crop because of the uh, lack of rain. Um, so last year's rainfall wasn't high, so that's why we've only got a tiny plum. To prepare a Davidson plum, you have to get rid of the seed. There's two seeds inside here. And it doesn't matter whether it's this big or it's that big. Queensland variety are quite large. They're, um, they're probably as, sometimes they get as round as that bowl there. They're quite huge. But either, both varieties have two seeds and generally all you do is pick them open. So I'll show you the gorgeous color because this is the special. See how beautiful and burgundy that color is? And this is why when you're making jams and uh, ice creams and sorbets and things like that out of it, it's, um, it's very intense in color. But it has two seeds. And like I said, it doesn't matter whether the seed, I mean the fruit is big or little, you will always get these two seeds. It's very tarty. So it's sour, and I'll show you how sour it is because it makes my face go all squishy. Mm. And you can see how flat they are. See that? They're really, really flat. But they remind me of um, warheads. So those sweet and sour lollies that you get in the shop. When you eat them fresh like this, they're really intense. But I find them quite delicious. You can see those two seeds. I keep them, I dry them out in the oven and then I use them in artwork and things like that. You can also use the seed and this particular juice to dye cloth. And different things that are being made with it now is jams, cordials, chutneys, uh, they also dehydrate it and make it into a powder and that powder is very intense. You can see that lovely colour, it's very fine and these powders are actually used in makeup. So you can make a lovely red lipstick, you can make some rouge, you can do a whole range of things with them. And uh, it's, because it's high in antioxidants, um, it's very good for us to have uh, nutritionally as well. Hi, I'm Chris Jordan from Three Little Birds in Brisbane. We do catering and events. I'm a Koori man from New South Wales, born in McLean, which is Bungalung country. So next with the Davidson Plum, we're gonna make some tapioca pearls. So I'm making these with Davidson Plum powder and coloring them with the beetroot juice. So here are the tapioca pearls raw and we're gonna boil them. We're gonna boil them until they're translucent. And we're gonna flavor them with some red wine vinegar, some brown sugar, and some uh, rosemary salt. So now that our pot of water's come to the boil, we're gonna add our tapioca pearls. The reason that we wait for it to be a rapid boil is because if it's not hot enough, the pearls will start to stick together. So we need to cook these until they're translucent. 
So while we're waiting for our pearls uh, to cook, we're gonna mix up our marinade. So we're gonna start with our beetroot juice, and we're gonna add in our red wine vinegar, our Davidson plum powder. This gives it a very, a very nice sour taste. And we're just gonna balance that out with the salt and sugar. And we'll just combine that in this small bowl. And we're gonna leave our pearls in here for about an hour. So our pearls have been boiling for 15 minutes now. And as you can see, the tapioca has let out into the water. They've gone translucent on the outside and there's just a little bead left in the middle. So we're gonna strain them off. And as you can see, once they're strained, they all go translucent. They just fully start to cook in the middle there. And now I've just rinsed these off. We've got a clean pot at the bottom. Strain the pearls through, and then we add our marinade. So like I said before, it's gonna sit in this marinade for an hour at room temperature and they're just gonna soak up all the flavor and the color. So now that we've finished our pearls, we have our uh, mountain pepper butter log and our fermented cabbage. We're gonna use all three of these with our native Australian scallops. So I'm just going to shred a little bit of the cabbage. Now this has been at room temperature for three days. I'm just going to slice two bits of butter, one for each scallop. So these scallops are raw, and we're just gonna blow torch them. Add a bit of our fermented cabbage. Melt this lovely butter over the top. And finish with some of the beetroot and Davidson plum pearls. And there you are.